Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. I'm Joe, if you're new around here, and we have another Snooker 19 preview video. A little bit unexpected to be doing one today, but we do have our first Snooker 19 career mode gameplay. Many thanks to Kenny Little or the Widowmaker, Widowmaker 40 uh, for allowing us to use his footage in this. Um, I will be leaving his uh, channel link and uh, video link down below in the description and the comment section so you can go and check him out. Uh, he's uploaded what I believe to be the first actual Snooker 19 gameplay. Now, some of you have been lucky enough to get your pre-orders today, which is... Insane, really, four days before release, but hey ho, you know, <laughs> some of us are still waiting, but uh, hopefully, you all enjoy it. Uh, I, I, I'm sort of gonna play it roughly now, over uh, you, you know, with me talking over it, but at the end of the video, the full video will sort the, the full gameplay video will be um, sort of played, and also you can go and check it out on his channel as well. So yeah, let's get into it. So uh, it looks like this is the screen. So Pro Seasons, this is what um, it, it looks like. And it says 2019 to 2020 season. Now that is something that's very interesting. I thought perhaps it would be the 2018 to 19 season, but it apparently starts in 2019. So that is cool. So we're going to be playing next season's snooker calendar on the game, uh, it's going to miss out the 2019 World Championship, but uh, yeah, a, a nice looking screen here at least. Um, so he's picked uh, Ken Doherty uh, as his uh, pro, which is uh, the, the the thing that we uh, that that we'll see in a minute. Um, so I'll just sort of skip through a little bit. Um, but uh, here you can see the, the main screen, the sort of current event screen. Uh, we've got the uh, Kaspersky uh, Riga Masters qualifiers. Uh, so you've got uh, Rod Lawler on there, Hossan uh, Vafai, and I'm not entirely sure who uh, that is in the middle. Um, but hey ho. <laughs> uh, a bit of an odd choice for the, the, the art there. You know, maybe uh, Neil Robertson, who won it in real life this season, should have been on there. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, it's, so you can see that you can skip events. Now, that is something very interesting. So you can enter tournaments, you can skip the event, or you can go back. Uh, so there's the My Pro section, which I'm sure we'll see on here. So you can see that you can start a new career. You can also customize Ken. Crafty Ken there, uh, changing his waistcoat and stuff like that, I assume. Uh, he didn't actually go into that in this video, unfortunately, but... Um we then have a, a scroll through uh, all of the, uh, the the events in the game. Uh, so we can see there that the Indian Open is actually in this game. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to be because when uh, they sort of flicked through the venues at EGX, uh, there they didn't seem to be a, 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 an Indian venue in there. Um, but it is there, as you can see. Uh, it's it's uh, in September this year, apparently. So... Um, we've got some uh, some brilliant tournaments in here. Uh, the Shanghai Masters is included as well, even though it's an invitational event. We've got uh, obviously the Champion of Champions as well, uh, and then the Masters, all the Championship League events. I'm not sure I'm going to be taking part in them. Uh, we've got the Shootout, obviously, uh, to a Championship, and, and then obviously the World Championship as well. Uh, I don't think it says the venue, so we can't see exactly where the um, the world qualifiers will take place, whether it will be at the Sheffield Institute of Sport, I'm not entirely sure, or English Institute, Institute. I'm not entirely sure where it, it, it's held, but uh, yeah, so uh, a nice looking schedule screen, you can see the vast amount of tournaments and venues that are in this game, uh, both ranking and uh, invitational events as well. Um, so there we have that, and then we have the uh, the, the ranking screen. So um, you know that is what you'd expect. We've got Ken Doherty there uh, at number sixty-four in the rankings. Gerard Green there as well, and um, I, I don't think he actually scrolls up them. Um, might be wrong. I don't think he does though. Uh, but then there's this uh, this Hall of Fame uh, thing, which. <laughs> 
I don't, I don't know. It seems a bit weird. It says ranked event champion, uh, 1974 to current, uh, and it's got Ken Dockney on zero. So does that mean when you take over the player, they start again from zero? You know, that seems a little bit harsh. <laughs> you know, if we take over Ronnie, he's not going to be on 36 ranking events. He's going to be on zero, and you're going to have to, to, to build all that up, as well as the... Uh, the the world champions uh, championships and stuff like that but it's got all of the old players on here tony mayo um you know even matthew stevens willie thorne is in there as well uh which is fantastic to see and you can see we, we scroll all the way to the top uh we see the likes of robertson selby william steve davis john higgins ronnie o'sullivan and of course Stephen Hendry. it looks a little bit out of date bear in mind that this gameplay is without a patch because we're still four days from release the day one patch will not have been released yet so i would be surprised that e that if this is even at egx um sort of build standard because I assume all of these were printed before they went to AGX. It was only uh, seven days ago, so for it to be in somebody's hands already uh, shows how crazy that is, uh, sort of how early it is. I, I assume that this is probably a lower spec than the AGX build, but who knows? Uh, and then we've got this trophy cabinet. Looks a little bit weird. Um, you know, I don't know what the stars are about. Maybe how many times you've won it. I really don't know. Um, for some reason, it's got the shootout on on this little uh, tree. I thought it might have the Triple Crown events here because you've got the World Championship, then the China Championship, and the shootout. Um, you know, I would have perhaps had the UKs and the Masters there as well. Have your Triple Crown events right in the middle and all the other ones uh, sort of around the outside. Um, haven't said that. Oh, no, no, there's the Masters there. And we've got the UK Championship as well. So I assume that's maybe a glitch. Who knows. Um, but uh, as you can see, we go on uh, towards the uh, sort of current event screen. He's playing Lee Yuan, the 77th ranked player in the world in uh, the first qualifying round of the China Championship. I love this screen. As you're loading into the game, you've got... Uh, Qualifier round one, three frame match, first player to two frames wins. You've got Ken versus Lee Yuan there. So, um. Welcome to the qualifiers of the Riga Masters, the season's first ranking event. So, does that confirm that there's no player introductions? I, I don't know. Perhaps it's, you know, because it's a qualifier. Uh, we did see in the trailer that Trump was coming through the doors of the Crucible, so. <laughs> I, I still think there might be player introductions. I'm not entirely sure, um, but I'll just let you listen to the the sort of uh, the gameplay for for a little bit. Now I'll, I'll come back in in just a second. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The first frame, Ken Doherty to break. One. Eight. Nicely onto the color. Nine. What a top shot that is. That's a wonderful, wonderful pot. 
14. So as you can see then, uh, you know, the, the, there is a couple of little glitches in there, like the rest staying on the table and stuff like that. But this is actually the first time that we've had a, a, a look at the AI play some shots. So it's very, very interesting indeed. Um, you know, the rest staying on the table is a little bit... 22. I don't know. A, a, a bug. It, it doesn't matter too much to me, though. Um, <laughs> you know, there's certainly there's after the seeing the there. players well deep screw off the cushion on previous games, um, it, you know, I, I don't mind that too much. Uh, the, the animations are a, a little bit weird. From a distance, Ken Doherty looks good. I thought he looked pretty awful on the uh, <laughs> when he was taking the break off there. It's very nice to hear the, the sort of referee... Uh, volume as well with Brendan Moore it was obviously voiced and uh, it's it's obviously quite realistic um, and it's the first time we've really had the, the sort of thank you first frame, Ken Doherty the break, that sort of thing um, hasn't been in previous games we've simply just had them them calling out the number of the, of the break um, or the, the, the point scored in the break um, there, there, there is a couple of little glitches that you'll see throughout the video. We get to hear the commentary a little bit more. Um, there is just one uh, sort of thing I, I want to show you uh, at the end of, of this break. One thing I noticed, um, you, you've got Ken Doherty, uh He pots the black and then look at this. So he's absolutely invisible here. You can just see his bow tie and his head and his hand and the cue. And it's shoes, weirdly enough. Everything else is gone. I'm sure that'll be something that's ironed out in the day one um, patch. But uh, just quite a funny look, little thing uh, to look at there. But uh, no, that is that is where I'm I'm going to leave it um, at this point. Obviously, if there is any any other gameplay. Um, check it out on YouTube. Just type in Stunker 19 Career Mode Gameplay. I'm sure somebody will, will put stuff up. I'm, I'm going to get stuff out as soon as I get the game. Um, but, yeah, we, we'll see uh, what happens um, with the game. Obviously, at this moment in time, there will be no patches out there, probably until Wednesday, maybe Tuesday night at the earliest. Uh, so there will be these underlying bugs and glitches uh, that will will plague the game uh, and, until you, you get to that point. I, I'm guessing that's why Ronnie hasn't won 36 ranking events on the game because it, it, it is just an older build of the game. A bit like the F1 games um, they release with the Australia spec liveries and then on day one um, they patch it to the, the, the sort of current Grand Prix liveries and, and car models and performance and stuff like that but uh, yeah let me know what you think down in the comments section I, I think it looks like it plays really well uh, obviously there's a few animation glitches but that that's just teething problems I assume until the day one patch uh, the career mode menu looks nice it is confirmed that we can skip tournaments in career mode and that we can customize the pro as well uh, which will be quite cool the hall of fame is something that i didn't expect to be in there i think that's quite a nice little touch you can sort of see who you're going above in uh, the rankings but it would be nice if we start off with their uh, number of ranking victories uh, at the start of the career mode don't know whether that's a glitch we'll just have to see as we get into uh, snooker 19 on wednesday so if you've enjoyed it leave a like down below make sure you go and check out kenny's channel as well down in the description a massive thank you uh, to him for letting us use his footage and uh, a very good clearance there at the end of that first frame um but yeah the the, the gameplay will now uh, kick in at the end of this video and you can watch it all and uh, and uh, see, see what you think of that but uh, thank you very much for watching subscribe to the channel for daily snooker 19 content and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye
Welcome to the qualifiers of the Riga Masters, the season's first ranking event. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The first frame, Ken Doherty to break. One. Eight. Nicely onto the color. Nine. What a top shot that is. That's a wonderful, wonderful pot. 14. I think he's playing this with a lot of power. 15. Twenty-two. He's tempted by this red. No problems with the rest there. Well played. 23. Lee Yuan, 23. This is a half chance. Impressive shot with the rest. One. Half a chance here. He'll be disappointed with that. He's let the cue ball get away from him a touch. Six.
Not an easy one, but a half chance. Ken Doherty, six. Nicely done. Quality queuing there, really good. One, just wants to sink this into the left corner pocket. Not the shot he was aiming for there. He really needs to tighten up on his positional play. Seven, no more than half a chance here. That's a brilliant pot. He couldn't have played that any better. Eight. Pace is critical here. Well, I think he's lost position here. Thirteen. Li Yuan, thirteen. That's a wonderful, wonderful pot. One. He's taking this on. Oh, wonderful shot. Six. Seven.
14. He's taking this red on. Ken Doherty, 14. He's taking it on. He's missed it! Excellent pot. One. That's just magnificent. Seven. Very tricky shot coming up. What a pot! Amazing! Eight. Well, he's taking it on to the left corner. That's a beauty. Fifteen. Sixteen.
Well, an excellent pot. He's right on top of his game at the moment. Twenty. Yes, he's taking the pot on. Oh, fabulous shot. Position looks pretty good to me. Twenty one. He's aiming for the left corner here. Tremendous pot. Really impressive queuing. 26. Twenty seven. I'm pretty sure that's not the position he was intending. Thirty-four. Well, he's taking it on. That's just unbelievable. Brilliant. That's great cue ball control. Excellent position. 35. Thirty-eight.
Beautifully done. Excellent queuing. 40. Green needed here. In it goes. That should be it. No real way for his opponent to win the frame now. 47. Fifty two. This looks pretty simple. Fifty eight. What a clearance that was. Superb. 65. And the first frame, Kendall. And now the frame is his. So, a one frame advantage. He'll be looking to build more pressure on his opponent in this frame. I agree. You really get the sense that this next frame is pretty critical to the outcome of this match. Thank you. The second frame, Li Yuan to break. <laughs> 